Pendragon Games Studio has a title that has definitely caught my attention, and I'm here to tell you a little about it. The Thing, the Norwegian Outpost. This is for one to eight players, ages 14 and up, and should run you about 60 to 90 minutes. All right up front, I want to say that this is not a standalone. This is an expansion for Outpost 31. This expansion for The Thing, the board game allows you to experience the events that happened at the Tool Station, the Norwegian station where it all began. As for the 1982 version, the expansion lets you relive the tensest moments from the story, transporting you into the cinematic film itself. The core element of the game is based on the emulation properties of The Thing, which will hide its identity under a blanket of fake humanity, but with substantial differences in the way that they interact with the game and with your feelings. Here are the key points to the expansion. A new board, new characters, and new materials. A new endgame condition represented by the escape of the dog that will arrive at Outpost 31. If this happens, you can play your next game of the 1982 version with the pack leader dog, a dog that does behave differently throughout the game. A new element in the game, teeth. Yes, teeth. The Thule Station crew discovers that the alien cannot assimilate and duplicate metal parts, so dental fillings become a way to find out if a person is definitely human, but not if they are alien. The teeth with the wire and the flamethrower disappears, and flashlights are added with which it will be possible to carry out a test and look at the teeth and other characteristics, checking for the presence or lack of fillings. A new location is available for the thing, the UFO. It represents the last hope of escape for the Thing, as it did in the movie. The final confrontation with any remaining humans will take place here. Of course, this is only an option, and just like the dog escape mentioned before, it doesn't necessarily have to happen. Everything will depend on your behavior, as you could win or lose in many ways. In the 2011 film, as soon as they found out what's going on, people's behavior became very selfish, trying by all means to save their own lives. We therefore decided to try to include the possibility of a solitary escape, an element that will bring the level of distrust to the maximum. This also brings a new mechanic, such as the ability to voluntarily sabotage vehicles even if you are human. This expansion will contain a new board, new characters, new cards, and new tokens. Woohoo! That is a mouthful! That is a lot from the publisher. They usually don't, they usually don't say that much, but wow! Okay, so that's a lot of ground that it just covered. The fact that this game covers the prequel movie and adds a connecting point to the Outpost 31 game absolutely amazes me. I love the fact that there's two games. Uh, although you need components from the main game, the core box, in order to play this, you don't you don't need any of the uh, the story stuff from the core box. So in that essence this expansion is as close to being a standalone as it could possibly get and yet they still have a connecting point if you want to play one into the other and continue the story just like the movies nice that that, that really did that really did catch my attention a solitary escape oh i like this so now it's not just the entire group trying to escape in the helicopter but you can just dip. <laughs> you can just you can just be out of there, uh, it, or try to be anyway. Even if you're human, because you're trying to save your own hide, that that makes perfect perfect sense to me. And I love the fact that that's added into this game. <laughs> nice. And the fact that it has a new a new board uh, that 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 a second part, you know, the third act, so to speak, with. With the alien trying desperately to get back to its UFO and, and get the hell off the planet. And I always thought it left enough of itself around so that hopefully, you know, it would continue while also escaping and, and preserving itself. But anyway, the, the fact that that board is there and added to the game, I, I can't stop talking about that. I've been telling, I've been telling all the 27 Warriors how cool I think that is that they added the UFO board to the game. And uh, I would really, really like to get this. Put it to the table and get it played and see how it feels. And then, and then do the part two with Outpost 31. 
It makes it makes both games feel that much bigger. But if you're a fan of the Thing movies, then go check out the Thing Norwegian Outpost. <laughs>